you just look at it. 2010 includes the following selected accounts. This is from the, you know, before adjusting. Okay, so before adjusting. You look at the debit, you look at the credit, these are some of it. And yeah, prepaid insurance, office supplies, office equipment, accumulated depreciation for the office equipment, okay? Office equipment will be projector, monitor, computer, unearned revenue. And when we have insurance expires at the rate of 100 per month, okay? So we need to make, okay? We need to make a debit and we need to make a credit, okay? And they give you here on the next page something like a solution, okay? Now solution comes at the bottom here. So for insurance expires at the rate of 100 per month, you have, everyone, Hello, I'm trying to give you an example here, okay? I will finish after 10, 15 minutes. You have insurance expense, 100, and then you have prepaid insurance, 100. So, insurance expires at rate of 100 per month. Yeah. When it expires, at the end of the month, you say insurance expense, 100, prepaid insurance, 100. Now, they may say, and that's a trick, Insurance expires at the end of the month, but they say recorded every three months. So if it's recorded or adjusted quarterly, the adjustment will be insurance expense 300 and here it's going to be 300. Number two, supplies on hand are 800. So now we need to ask, okay, if now we have 800, how much we had before and before supplies were 2,800. So before 2008, after 800. The differences we use during the month, 2,000. So the supplies is an asset account, so it's going to be supply debit, supply expense, credit supply. <coughs> Okay, so, debit, office supplies expense, credit, office supplies, 2000, 2000, that's it. Next one, number three, office equipment depreciates 200 a month. So, debit, depreciation expense, 200, and on the other side, Debit, depreciation 200, credit, accumulated depreciation office equipment 200. All right? And last one, one half of the unearned revenue was earned in March. So, whatever was unearned, one half you recognize. So, we go back to the balance. Other revenue, 9,200. So half of it is 4,600. So you recognize revenue. So it's going to become unearned revenue as a liability, right? So we're going to say debit unearned revenue, and then we're going to have credit revenue. Let's see what they say. Debit unearned revenue. 4,600, credit revenue, you'll have to say service revenue, okay? And that's the example, and that's the risk. Now we have one more, I think, final example over here. What I'm trying to get over here is the final, okay. All right, that's another one. What's the excitement, guys? I'm trying to give you one more example. We've got about five, ten more minutes. Another example. Calvin and Hobbes, okay, are the owners of microcomputer services. By the end of their first month or whatever, you're trying to prepare monthly statements. All right, here we are. And they have the following information. Okay, on August 31, 
they owed employees 807 that the company will pay on September 1. So you owe the salaries becomes salaries payable. Okay. So salaries payable is a liability. And if it's a liability, this means that you'll have to credit the liability. Well, what's the debit? No, no cash. They don't pay it yet. They owe it. They will pay it. And how? It's a salary. So it becomes salary expense. So it becomes debit salary expense. 800 credit salary payable. 800. And that's it. When they pay, you're going to have debit salary payable, credit cash. Okay? So now we're looking at the first one. And that's it. Debit, salaries expense. Credit, salaries payable. You recognize the expense today and promise to pay tomorrow, later, the salary later. So that's number one. Number two, they borrowed 30000 from a local bank, okay? On a 15 year old note. And the annual interest rate is 10,000. So now we need to do some calculations here. So, first of all, you say 30,000 is. Well, first of all, yeah, that's, we need to calculate the interest, okay? When they borrowed. Okay, first of all, let's say we have two transactions. One, when they borrow. When they borrow, you're going to have debit cash, okay? And then credit is going to be note, 15 year note. So it's going to be note payable. That's when they borrow. At the end of the month, you have interest. And the question is, how much is the interest? Okay. Interest is 10% out of 30,000 for one full year. So interest is 10 out of 30 is $3,000 is the annual interest, annual. So for one year, you pay 3,000. Well, now, if for one year you pay 3,000, how much is interest for one month? For one month. Well, you divide 3,000 by 12, and it's gotta be iPads, Google, 250. We call it brains, use your brains. 250. Okay, so for one year, 3,000. For one month, 250. And now the question is what's the debit? What's the credit? And the debit is interest expense. And credit is what's the credit for the note? What's going to be interest? Interest payable. If it's a salary, salary payable. If it's rent, rent payable. Okay, so whatever it is, you say whatever payable. In this case, it's interest payable. Let's see how lucky I am. Oh, lucky. Interest expense, 250. And then credit, interest payable, 250. The calculation is 30,000 is the full note. In 10% is the annual note. So it becomes 3,000 per year. And then you divide by 12 to get the monthly 250. Okay? So that's it. Number two. Number three. Service revenue. Unrecorded. In other words, they earned it but did not collect it. They're going to get it later. Okay. So, you're going to have to have something which is like receivable, okay? So, you're going to have debit receivable and credit service revenue. So, you say debit some receivable, account receivable, credit service revenue 1100. Let's see what they say. Oh, that's it. Debit Account receivable, 
1100 credit service revenue 1100 all right and that's all the rest of it so this one is fairly simple and fairly easy you also have and do let's see i think summary okay so now you see a summary. A summary simply gives you, okay, this is the advertising expense, this is the su uh, supply expense, whatever. So they just give you debit, credit, debit, credit, debit, credit. They give you the reference number of where, meaning which account you post to, okay? They just give you all the journal entries, okay? So these are the entries for the adjustments at the end of the month. They call end of month or better end of period adjustments could be could be end of quarter adjustments end of year adjustments so we say end of period adjustments and these are the different adjustments you see the insurance expense depreciation expense other revenue accounts receivable interest expense salaries expense and now you transfer these to the ledger and you have for interest payable, you have an adjust, adjustment entry or adjusting entry, 50-50, all right. You see them with rent. Accounts receivable, adjusting entry, 200-200. You got advertising supplies, 15-50. So you just see how you, we call these, post them from the journal to the ledger. You see all of the adjustments. This is for the whole chapter. You can actually read through to see just an example. And then we get to what I was trying to tell you about the adjusted trial balance. So let's see what adjusted trial balance looks like. Okay. Adjusted trial balance. It's very simple. You take the number after the adjustment. So you have a number before the adjustment. Sometimes they make it in three columns. I'll see if they have it over here. Before adjustment, which is called unadjusted. Then you have adjustments, and then you have adjustment. In this case, you got the numbers after the adjustments. And you just call it adjusted trial balance. Uh, the one which I had in mind is on page 108. And if you open 108, you will see you have two columns, debit and credit, okay? Then you have adjustments, debit and credit, then you have a uh, adjusted trial balance. Let's see if you can get this little nice table. Can you get the nice table there? Is the table coming up nice? Is it C, left, right? You, you can adjust the camera. Yeah? Is it working? Having fun? Can you see well? So you got three columns. The unadjusted, the adjustments, and the adjusted. All right. Now we can get back to normal. So you have now the adjusted trial balance. And what you have to do is from the adjusted trial balance, you do the same thing. You do the balance sheet by taking the asset liability and equity accounts. And then you do the income statement by doing the revenue and the expense accounts. Let's see if they have them over here. Okay. Yeah, this is very nice. Preparing financial statements. This is very nice because it looks beautiful. You see now, you got all of these. Cash, balance sheet, okay? Balance sheet, balance sheet, balance sheet, balance sheet, balance sheet, balance sheet. All of this is balance sheet, okay? This one, capital and drawing, is affecting the, uh, actually, the equity. And now you see the red ones, service revenue, income statement, income statement, income statement, expense, income statement, expense. Income statement, expense, income, expense, expense, expense. So all of these revenues and expenses, which are in red color, you see how you copy them and you copy separately the revenue 
and you copy separately the expenses. And what I was explaining last time for all of you who were missing and didn't come because it was raining, how you get here the expenses on the left, you got total service revenue on the right, and then you have total expenses on the right. You put in here one line, okay? And on the right, you have the total revenue, you have the total expense, you put in one line, you can zoom in, maybe you can move the camera and zoom in a little bit more, right? And then when you have the, it's called net income, you have two lines, okay? So, if I'm training your quiz or your midterm, and of course final, I'll be looking for the income statement to see the two lines and get the number and see, did you get the number right? And if not, I want to see, did you get this number right? Or this number right, okay? And see what you got. If everything's right, then it's right. If it's wrong, you gotta see what you got wrong. And say, oh, this one's wrong. Now I gotta get back to here. Say, oh, you see? So you gotta trace back things to see where you made, oh, this one, I gotta go back to the ledger and then maybe see, okay, this is what the mistake was. You gotta see how many mistakes you made along the way. So, you get the revenue and the expense accounts, you take them and just copy paste, and the expenses keep here a little on the left, and then on the right you get the total expense, you get the total revenue, and then that's it. Now, here, the blue ones, you see the blue ones, capital drawing, you get the equity statement. You have the capital from the previous balance sheet. Well, there was no balance sheet, so it's actually zero. You have the current investments, and you can pull in the uh, capital is in investments, okay? And you get the capital in here, okay? So, original balance, zero. Additional is 10,000. Capital is 10,000. And then you have to add the net income. And then you have to subtract the drawings. Okay? So the capital becomes, let's repeat, the original, the old balance, plus new investments, minus drawings, plus the current net income, or if it's lost, minus the net loss. But usually this is the order. Getting it, see one line, another line, one line, another line. And then, again, okay, this is all what you're going to need for tomorrow, or, you know, Thursday for the quiz. This is how you do it, everyone. This is how you do it on the quiz without the adjustments, okay? So the quiz is going to be without the adjustments. I mean, quiz two. The midterm is going to be without the adjustments. And quiz number three will have the adjustments, okay? Which is coming after. Quiz number three after one month, I mean after three weeks. And then you have the balance sheet. And now you have the balance sheet. It's the same thing. Asset accounts, liability accounts, and the equity coming from the equity statement. You gotta copy, and you gotta basically copy and paste, right? You see how it's done, you have the asset accounts first. They will have a debit balances, that's a that's, if it's an asset with a debit balance, it's an asset account. If it's a liability balance, it's, of course, a liability. And the equity you get from the equity statement. And I think this is for today. Okay, it's just an example. You, everybody, has the, you have the PDF file. This is the whole do it example of these are the trial balance for the debits and the trial balance for the credits, okay? And you have to make some, whatever the adjustments are, and you got a simple solution, okay? And it'll just go through it at home, okay? So, tomorrow or oh, next time, quiz, after that, midterm, after that, exercises, homework three, and then we have. Then we have uh, on Thursday, July 25, we have this and 
next quiz is going to be July 31, right? July 25 and 7, it's going to be actually August 1. Alright, good enough? Finish?